Hi, um, just to uh, explain briefly the Spitfire, uh, pretty easy aircraft uh, to learn and to fly. Just uh, the systems we have, um, very very basically, <coughs> the boost is uh, the uh, represents the engine power, RPM. You will want to run uh, about 2800 uh, or 2600 climb and uh, cruise. You don't want to run uh, 3000 uh, RPM uh, too much of the time. We'll see why. Oil temperature, radiator, you don't want to exceed 120. Uh, when you approach 115 it's already a big deal. Uh, there is nothing much uh, to show here. You have fuel uh, uh, pressure warning when you, you get slow. You have a, uh, an issue with the fuel systems. Uh, the light will show. Here you have the lower tank. We have two fuel tanks, upper and lower tank. Um, so lower tank is 37 gallons and uh, uh, upper tank is 48 gallons of fuel. Uh, you will see only the lower tank here. So when you have 100% fuel, the first 48 gallon will uh, will be sucked before uh, you, this uh, dial will start to, to go down. Um, what else? So like the hurricane, uh, to running at full power, you're, uh, you're bur burning about uh, 85 gallons per hour. Uh, and when you lean the mixture I ha at high altitude and you cruise uh, 200 uh, mph, you will be about 35 to 40 gallons per hour if you are uh, efficient. Uh, other systems, uh, this is direction zero, where, uh, which you can here set. To the heading, the heading you can have, have from the magnetic compass down here. Uh, there is kind of uh, some way to to read the magnetic uh, compass di directly. Uh, for example, we are here at uh, to about uh, 300 degree because this T represents the north. So this uh, bar here represents uh, west, and we are about 30 degree. Uh, higher than west, so 270 plus 30. Uh, this is the um, uh, dial showing the position of the trim tab. Uh, uh, you have a vertical trim and a vertical tab, and also for the rudder into this aircraft. You don't have it for the ailerons. Um, we have uh, these systems are not working. This is for the oxygen supply. Supply uh, you, uh, you have magnetos here, and this is uh, pressure for the. This is air pressure for the brakes. Uh, actually supplied here the dials on the side. Uh, you have differential brakes. Uh, they are not working at the moment, but when they will be, you you can uh, brake on left or right independently. Well, this dial represents the uh, air, air, air uh, available the pressure of the air. When it drops down, uh, the brakes uh, may uh, uh, work uh, halfway or very low. And also the, um, uh, the flaps, which is uh, this uh, slider here, are um, uh, working with the air, the same pressure air. So normally, if you don't have uh, air pressure, you you cannot uh, you can uh, activate this. It will it should have no effect. Um, uh, we ha have uh, the um, the gun sight, which uh, can be light up from this button here. I guess no, that's another button down here. And um, there is a uh, into this aircraft possibility to set the wingspan of your uh, enemy and uh, the range you want to fire at. So for myself, I want to fire at a close distance, and if it's uh, one or nine, it's about 32 feet, something like that. Mixture control works the normal way. This is lean. This is rich. 
throttle control boost cutout so if we want to use the last um, uh, inches of uh, this uh, throttle we have to push that away and then we can reach this position uh, at the moment in Spitfire 1A it doesn't have any more power here uh, but uh, probably next patch uh, this will uh, come come up uh, we ha uh, we have only one uh, 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 switch to open the the, the fuel tanks again that's a uh, kind of uh, uh, simulation uh, the way they have done that uh, I mean it's not 100% uh, accurate apparently it was a little bit more complex with uh, some possibility to open the upper tank or uh, whatever uh, but for now this is a simplified uh, radiator which you can move all the way and somewhere in between and uh, that's the rudder trim that's about uh, most important systems in the, this aircraft and as you know the flaps are of a need to position fully full up full down so we are uh, starting up with the flaps fully retracted all the time uh, the engine is quite warmed up already so no problem to warm up the engine uh, if you don't exceed a boost of uh, maximum one or two uh, I guess if you hit your hit up the engine with too much boost you, uh, you will have any, uh, some kind of problem you might have um, so like for the hurricane into this aircraft the above 2600 rpm you don't have um, the bo full boost the boost will be reduced uh, you may notice uh, i will reduce the rpm now and the boost will increase slightly which means uh, you can run uh, 26 rpm you already have uh, enough uh, the power that you need more or less the same the, the same power as you should have you may have with more RPM. One other thing, uh, we have the um, uh, uh, safety lever in order to uh, release, to, to let the landing gear go down. You have to press uh, this uh, uh, button, uh, this slider twice. Once it will go there, it, it will just uh, unlock and so on time it will, it will move there. And then the um, uh, gear should go down. If you have no electricity, you will not have the position uh, of uh, the of the landing gear. The landing gear should be moved by all pressure. So if you have lost the engine, you also uh, don't uh, have the control of the um, landing gear. That's uh, about uh, all into this aircraft. So one of the good uh, regime you want to fly is approximately 2600 RPM. That's what, where you will have the full power, uh, full boost available and uh, slightly reduced fuel consumption probably uh, compared to if you were running fully fine. Uh, you will uh, want to lean the mixture if you're flying high and uh, leaning the mixture uh, some case uh, the motor the engine will uh, go will uh, run roof and you want in that case to to, f to uh, either to enrich gain uh, you have only two, po two position or to reduce or find uh, another another regime uh, i guess here if you want to run lean for example, it will work with a reduced boost and RPM setting. So in some case, if the engine goes uh, roof, you might find another, another, another RPM and power setting where it will go fine. Uh, or is an artificial driven by vacuum pump. Uh, it will uh, follow quite well the horizon unless you make a violent maneuvers then it will go uh, around the clock in any kind of position and stabilize after a while and um, 
turn indicator here and sleep indicator here nothing particular regarding the landing I'm going to make a three point uh, 140, 160 can go down with the landing gear and with the flaps and I'm a little bit high more or less uh, you want uh, 90 to 100 uh, mph if you want to avoid the two points uh, quite a lot very simple landing no problem if we had uh, the brakes working proportional brakes you can assign uh, some axis if you have, otherwise you just press and release the key. 